Hey beautiful, it was 2 a.m. and I was craving pretzels, so that's what we're making today. They're actually heavenly with a golden buttery exterior and a soft pillowy inside. We're gonna start off by adding one and a quarter cup of warm water to a container and then add one tablespoon of instant or active dry yeast. Set this aside to let the yeast bloom while we work on the rest of our mixture. Take a large bowl and add in three and a quarter cups of flour. Add in one quarter of a cup of sugar and whisk these ingredients together until they're combined. Pour in the yeast mixture and then just go in with your hands and knead the dough. If you have a stand mixer with a dough hook, go ahead and use that instead because that does make your life much easier. With that said, I still use my hands and the pretzel still turned out amazing, soft, and fluffy. You're going to want to knead this for about 7-10 to 10 minutes or until the dough comes together to form a ball. Your dough should look like this, so go ahead and add it to a well-oiled bowl. So over here, I'm just oiling it with a little bit of olive oil. And then just add in the dough and coat the entire surface of it with the oil. And then cover with plastic wrap and let this rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Your dough should have risen slightly, so once you're done resting it, just take it out of the bowl, put it onto a surface, and roll it out. Um, just a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to cut this into about 8 to 10 even pieces. Here I'm demonstrating how to shape your pretzels, so roll it out into a thin log and then um, we're going to shape it by taking each strand or each end and folding it over itself like this. Pinch the two sides so that they stick together and that's it. Repeat with the rest of the dough and we're done for the shaping. Okay, so now we're going to grab a pot of water and to the pot we're going to add a quarter cup of baking soda. Bring the water to a boil and then add in the pretzels two at a time and boil for 30 seconds on each side. Repeat with each of the pretzels and then transfer to a baking sheet and we're going to bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 9 to 15 minutes. The pretzels do brown really beautifully in the oven, so keep an eye out for that. Before putting them in the oven, I like to add salt on top of each one because there's not actually any salt in the dough itself. Anyway, remove from the oven, top it off with some more salt, brush with a little bit of melted butter if you would like, and that's pretty much it. They're so good and they smell like heaven. Enjoy!